हेलो स्टूडेंट नमस्ते सब जाना लाइक सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू अबाउट एवरीथिंग अबाउट फ्रॉग हॉट्स एंड आल्सो प्रोवाइड यू डिफरेंट ट्रिक टू रिमेम्बर इट सो दिस इज द वेरी इंपोर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ क्लास इलेवन सो स्टे फोकस्ड एंड मेक यूर नॉट प्रोपरली एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन द चैनल प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल सो नाउ लेट्स मूव इन टू द टॉपिक सो इफ यू सी अ फ्रॉग हॉट देर इज टू ऑरिकॉल एंड वन बेहेंट रिकॉल टू टू ऑरिकल टू ऑरिकल वन वेंट्रिकल एंड इन द डोर्सल साइड देर इज इन द डोर्सल साइड देर इज वन साइनस वेनोस साइनस वेनोस एंड इन वेंट्रल साइड अटैच टू देंट्रिकल देर इज वन ट्रंकस आर्टेरियस ट्रंकस आर्टेरियस and this sinus venous has two एंड दिस साइनस वेनोस हेज टू प्री कैवल टू प्री कैवल वन पोस्ट कैवल फोर इनलेट ऑफ ब्लड इन टू दट एंड दिस ट्रंकस आर्टेरियस द फंक्शन ऑफ ट्रंकस आर्टेरियस इज फोर आउटलेट ऑफ ब्लड और टू सप्लाई ब्लड टू डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी फ्रॉम द भेंट्रिकल सो दिस इज द शॉर्ट डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ फ्रॉग हर्ट्स एंड नाउ आई विल एक्सप्लेन ऑल दिज इन अ टेबलर फॉर्म and then again i will explain you in a figure so that you can remember all the things for long period of time so let's begin into the table first so if you see a frog heart this is heart of frog heart the heart of frog has one troncus arteriosus troncus arteriosus arteriosus troncus arteriosus one ventricle one ventricle two auricle two auricles and one sinus venous one sinus venous and remember one thing sinus venous is present in dorsal side of frog heart so to remember this remember like sinus venous means ve it is looking like ventral but it but sinus venous present in dorsal side so remember the name in the name of sinus venous it is looking like in ventral position but it is present actually in opposite that is in dorsal position present in present in dorsal dorsal side of heart present in dorsal side of heart and next to it there is troncus arteriosus that is sinus if sinus venous is present in dorsal side this is present in ventral side that is troncus arteriosus present in just opposite side present in ventral side of heart ventral side of frog heart in sinus venous it contains sinus venous contain two precaval two precavals one postcaval four inlet of blood four inlet of blood into the into the heart Funs, this is the function of sinus venous for inlet of blood into the heart that is it brings blood from different part of the body to the heart and now we have two auricles and one ventricles these three are simple and does not contain much more information but the lengthy topic is troncus arteriosus and it is so confusing so let's study it and stay focused so in tr troncus arteriosus troncus arteriosus is divided divides by semi lunar semi lunar valve into that is troncus arteriosus is divided by semi lunar valve into synangium and phalangium synangium that is bulbous arteriosus bulbous arteriosus bulbous arteriosus or ventral ventral aorta these three are the name of synangium that is synangium or bulbous arteriosus or ventral aorta and divided divides by semi lunar valve into synangium and phalangium phalangium that is conus arteriosus arteriosus conus arteriosus and to remember the name of synangium that is bulbous arteriosus or ventral aorta i'll provide you a trick so remember as 
B O S Boss that is Boss means bulbous arteriosus O means ventral aorta S means synangium so these three are different name of synangium synangium bulbous ventral aorta bulbous arteriosus so this trick will help you a lot and now <coughs> synangium is divided into synangium is divided into right aortic trunk right aortic trunk and left aortic trunk left aortic trunk and phalangeum is divided into phalangeum phalangeum divides divides by spiral valve spiral valve into that is phalangeum is divided by spiral valve into cavum orticum cavum orticum and cavum palmocutaneum cavum palmocutaneum cavum orticum and cavum palmocutaneum and stay here that is cavum orticum is present in right ventral position or we can say right of right of ventral right of ventral side and it contains pure and mixed blood pure and mixed blood and cavum palmocutaneum is present in left of just opposite just opposite of cavum articum left of dorsal dorsal side and it contains impure and mixed blood so see here this since truncus arteriosus since, since truncus arteriosus is connected with ventricle so all part of truncus arteriosus contain mixed blood because ventricle of ventricle of heart of frog contains mixed blood so this so the all part of truncus arteriosus contain mixed blood but in cavum orticum there is pure and mixed and in cavum palmocutaneum impure mixed in both but cavum orticum contains pure and cavum palmocutaneum contains impure since these two are so confusing and similar so i'll provide you a trick to remember one so that you can so that you can know the another so i'll provide a trick for cavum palmocutaneum and just opposite to it there is cavum orticum so remember the trick is D I L E P Dilip. Remember, it is the name of a human being. D D I L E P. So D means dorsal side. I means impure. L E means left of dorsal side. Left and P means for palmocutaneum. This is the explanation of frog hearts in a tabular form. And now I will show this all in a figure. So take the screenshot. Take the screenshot properly. And now I will make the figure first, and then I will explain you. And remember one thing, this I have said earlier, sinus venosus, sinus venosus, sinus venosus present in dorsal, dorsal side of heart. And to remember this, I have provided a trick that is sinus venosus means behemens ventral, behemens ventral, but it is present in just opposite that is in dorsal side. And and then truncus arteriosus truncus arteriosus truncus arteriosus just opposite of sinus venosus present in ventral side ventral side so remember this and now take the screenshot so my dear student since ventricle auricle in sinus venosus is so easy and it is not so confusing but truncus arteriosus is lengthy topic and it is so confusing so here I will make only the figure of truncus arteriosus for now and I will understand and then I will understand you all about truncus arteriosus and heart.
so my dear student this is the figure of this is the figure of truncus arteriosus truncus arteriosus this is the figure of truncus arteriosus take the table that i have provided earlier and understand all those points in this figure so so earlier i have provided that truncus arteriosus this truncus arteriosus is divided into synangium synangium and phalangium by seminar valves but i haven't pro provided you how many seminar valves are present so this synangium and phalangium is divided by three seminar valve divided by three semi lunar valve and then synangium and synangium is also called bulbous arteriosus or ventral rota and to remember the name of synangium I, I had provided a trick and the trick was BOS boss BOS boss bulbous arteriosus ventral rota synangium and now this synangium is again divided into two branches or called two trunk that was left aortic trunk left left aortic trunk and right aortic trunk right aortic trunk this is not so important and now phalangium phalangium was divided into cavum orticum and cavum pulmonocutinum by spiral valve so this is the spiral valve spiral valve and this phalangium is divided into cavum orticum so this is cavum orticum cavum orticum and this is cavum pulmocutinum pulmocutinum cavum orticum and cavum pulmocutinum and cavum orticum is present in right ventral so right ventral and this present in left dorsal and cavum orticum contains pure and mixed blood and this cavum pulmocrinum contains impure and impure and mixed blood mixed blood and to remember this all i had provided a trick and the trick was d i l e p dilip so d means dorsal i means impure blood l means left and that this is the trick for pulmocutinum so d i l e p dilip and now we have again three semilunar valves three semilunar valves this these three are also similar valves that connects semilunar valve semilunar valve this semilunar valves present between present between phalangium phalangium and ventricle of frog ventricle of frog it means this part this part this part remains connected with ventricle that is this part or we can say phalangium that is phalangium phalangium remains remains connected with connected with ventricles of frog connected with ventricle so from here we get to understand that phalangium this phalangium remains connected with ventricle that is the mixed blood from the ventricle first passes into first arrive, arrive into phalangium and then move into synangium that is the mixed blood comes first in phalangium and and this semilunar valve present between present between phalangium and synangium phalangium and synangium synangium so this all about the explan pure explanation of truncus arteriosus that is truncus arteriosus is divided into synangium and phalangium by seminar valves there are three seminar valves present between phalangium and synangium and 
So this sign and GM is also called bulbous arterial sauce or ventral rota and the trick to remember all those names was BUS boss and then sign and GM is divided into left aortic trunk and right aortic trunk this is not so important and after that phalangeum this phalangeum is divided into cavum aureticum and cavum palmocutinum by spiral valve this spiral valve and we know cavum aureticum is present in right ventral position contain pure and mixed blood cavum palmocutinum is present in left dorsal position contain impure and mixed blood and to remember this all we have trick called dilp dilip and then the main point is this three seminar valves connects phalangeum into ventricle so the pure impure blood first entered into phalangeum like like for example if examiner will ask you in which part between phalangeum and synangeum first blood enters from ventricle then you have to say phalangeum because ventricles is connected with this part that is phalangeum so this all about the explanation of truncus arteriosus and now it will be crystal clear for you and now i will provide you two three important points that will be very important for you so note it down that is sinus venous sinus venous venous is pacemaker of frog heart pacemaker of frog heart pacemaker of frog heart and spiral valve spiral valve second point spiral valve present in phalangeum and incompletely incompletely divides it into cavum aureticum cavum aureticum and cavum palmocutinum cutinum which i have understood you all earlier this phalangeum is divided into cavum aureticum and cavum cutinum by spiral valves and now we have third point that is semi lunar semi lunar valve present between phalangeum phalangeum and ventricles ventricle and also between and also between phalangeum phalangeum and synangeum synangeum and now in fourth point we have cardiac cycle cardiac cycle of frog completes in cardiac cycle of frog completes in 0.94 second so its heartbeat is heartbeat is 64 times per minute per minutes that is less than human beings because the heartbeat of human beings is 70 times per minute this is because for one cardiac cycle it takes 0.94 second but in human for one cardiac cycle human, human only can take 0.8 second so this is the reason frog heart of frog beats less than human beings that is 64 times per minute so this all about frog heart and their tricks so my dear student take the screenshot properly take the screenshot and if you like the video please subscribe my channel and thank you for the class